This is Rohit Kumar Pandey from Din Dayal Upadhyay College, University of Delhi. Hello everyone, I am Vicky Punya from Din Dayal Upadhyay College and uh, we are performing here the UJT experiment. Uh, and uh, we are try, trying to find out the IV characteristics of UJT, means unijunction transistor. Yeah. Uh, here uh, I have a UJT. Uh, we uh, pick uh, the pin in upper direction and uh, from it uh, to the right it is a emitter and this is a uh, base 1 and this is base 2. Let's connect it to the breadboard. Here we have two resistances R1 and R2. R1 is uh, connected across this B1, base 1. No, B, base 2. Oh, sorry, base 2. R1 is connected across base 2. Yeah. Change the terminal, please. This, the, put this, this is, is base 2. Please change, say the resistance value. Yeah, yeah. Just explaining. Yeah. And uh, uh, this is another resistance which is connected across uh, emitter. Yes, right. Yeah. You can see easily. This is emitter. This is base one, and this is base two, and this is resistance across base two. This is resistance across uh, emitter, which we connect through multimeter to measure current. Let's connect it. First, is uh, off it, and then connect it to the emitter. This is our positive terminal and this is negative terminal across emitter. Now let's ground to the base one. This is our ground. And this is our base one. Now connect the voltmeter. Voltmeter. This is common. This is common and this is uh, positive wire which is connected across emitter. And uh, another is connected, uh, common is connected to the ground. Now it's uh, uh, source 1 which is connected across lower resistance and to the, uh, bay, uh, to the common, uh, to the ground and uh, let's connect uh, check the connection yes right they are and this is source 2 similarly we can connect the source 2 from r1 and second is ground yes here as you know the first five are connected through it let's open to the emitter and this is our voltmeter open the source 2 and source 1 here our V2 voltage is constant at 5 volt and uh, V1 is very uh, uh, as we proceed. Let's vary it and here is the voltage and here is emitter. Current, Current uh, in which so. As we vary the voltage, voltage vary as well as current vary along with it. You can see this is uh, at uh, 3.8 volt and current is we start to uh, vary as well as voltage. We continue till it's breakdown. We it continue it till breakdown as Romit say yeah. and uh, uh, perform it and uh, uh, perform it till the graph is as uh, as uh, along current ex uh, voltage axis and then a breakdown shows as this in this form. Uh, you can see it easily through the experiment when you do the after seeing the video and uh, uh, you can see easily current vary with uh, voltage change uh, here and uh, this is the hardware performing and uh, after doing this experiment you can easily draw the graph and uh, graph is shown as, uh, graph can be drawn as I draw it on the notebook. There is unique character of this graph. This graph is just yes, you can see this. That. This graph is similar to this. First, it uh, show the zero uh, zero current, and then after that, uh, show uh, a breakdown. 
Yeah, suddenly, a big breakdown. When it's reached reached to its peak point, after that the value is being saturated, it will decrease. Decrease very very fastly. Suddenly decrease in such a way that uh, micro ampere current converts into milli ampere current, and after that, when we vary the voltage, some current is increases. This is the usual characteristics. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this will be supportive for you. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.